Jester back with another video here today, guys. We're going to be talking about Transformers Impact, known as Transformers Online. It's starting to fit in the end. So, there was, like, leaks the other day or something like that. There was, like, leaks, like, a couple of days ago. So, let's go ahead and talk about it. As you guys can see in the background, that is an image. And all this, it's a slideshow. And I'll link it down below from my Reddit user. Thank you guys so much for the information. Now, it says, many years in the future, the Aegis massive alien super weapon drifts into the solar system. The Autobots and the Zombicons wage a fierce battle for control of the dialect weapon. The battle ends in a massive explosion, decimating both Transformers forces and shattering the Aegis into massive shards. Shards rain down on Earth with devastating impact, and it's like corrupting and corrupting the world they fall. Now, with the combined fate of the Transformers and humanity to end, the Autobots and the Decepticons must band together and fight for survival against the corruption brought by the Dark of Ages. So, what I think of this, I think it's a really cool concept, but trans for Autobots and Decepticons working together just seems like a terrible idea for me because you know, and everyone knows that Transformers. Does not really work well with having Autobots and Decepticons. Now this is pretty much what it's saying. It's saying talking about Warframe. It's pretty much Destiny. It's pretty much those two games. If you guys know what those are, Destiny Two and Destiny One and Warframe. If you know those cards, it's pretty much saying as pretty much the gameplay and like the shared world of like that type of thing and best of free to play shooter set in the Transformers universe. It's pretty much just talking about how they're gonna have all this stuff in the future. So it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a like the, uh, I guess, like, I guess you would say kind of like the Marvel's Avengers game or, or, um, yeah, so like Destiny, like, where you, you know, go to, like, the, where you can do a 5v5 P PV or PVE, but I really hope for PVE, because we're having a PVE P uh, player versus environment, which should be fine, I think that's gonna be fantastic, but at least, hopefully, they have a PVP for, like, Five and five, like how they had Destiny, and I don't know about Warframe. I haven't really played much of it, so I hope they have that. Now we are talking about this. It says select your own framing weapon, a, a mission, and fight and explore to collect resources and crafting material. And you can frame and weapons, like build and upgrade your weapons. So it's super sick. And repeat. So pretty much you can build and upgrade your weapons, which is amazing because if you could build your weapons, just imagine what you could build. <laughs> like something better than the Megatron weapon that would be super sick and then being able to upgrade it would be super overpowered I don't know how long you can upgrade it so this game looks super good now I don't know how this is really gonna work out because if they're working together hopefully they have like a multiplayer where it's like Decepticons versus Autobots because they don't and it's just like like you do a multiplayer with them with like other people or random people like how sometimes you do with Destiny I just feel like that won't be really that fun. So, I don't really know what's going to happen with this. Because I want the game to be fun. And I just want the game to be good. Now, if they don't have where they have Autobots and Decepticons fighting each other. And they have attacking like something. Like attacking other things. That's fine. But as long as they have a PvP mode. So, this is pretty much a shared world shooter players can see in Underworld for each other hub in the area and some combat spaces so basically like destiny how they have where you can walk around after you explore something after you explore a sam uh, s sandwich i mean planet and then you go back and then you can you know like talk to others or like you know explore and like talk to these random shopkeepers or something well i think it will be a neat idea but hopefully we have a pvp no what this is pretty much saying is to get uh gather the transformers and then like you can venture and bring them back and you have transformation, the transformation to vehicles, and enter, and well, you have transform and enter, enter just the movement combat, factional choices, so you can like probably like choose which one you want, and then sometimes you will switch, like something like Star Wars Squadrons. If you know that game just came out, you can switch, you know, because you know like how they have the campaign. One mission you're gonna be pilot of X Wing, and then one mission you're gonna be the Empire. I mean, rebelling. Then Dynamic Headquarters, it's Q and NPCs who will, depending on more choices. So pretty much, pretty much cool. Diverse environments, each shark, I'm um, shark, shark in a new zone, or like you can go in the new zone, like Antarctica, Songhar, or whatever, how you say that, New York, and ETD. Sorry if I said that wrong. Anyways, this thing is pretty much saying what pretty much, this is the influence 
So this is what they're taking to put in the Transformers game. Well, I think it's totally fine. But as long as they still, like I still said earlier, as long as they have a PvP, it should be fine. And as long as they have other things, such as just great things, it should be overall fine. Now, if they don't have that stuff, it's just going to suck. It's just overall going to suck. If they don't have a PvP. If you're just working like Destiny, because you know Destiny have the PvP. They had like that PvP little area that was super sick. And I think that would be awesome. Now, pretty much just saying is like this is the normal Optimus Prime toy. And you go to the G1, you go to the other show, you go to the movies, you go to the toy. Now you have that on Earthrise. I don't know why, but that video didn't get many views the other day. Come on, guys. We have some subscribers. We shouldn't be getting four views. Okay? Anyways, it's probably going to be looking super sick for other Autobots or other Decepticons. This is what it, this is pretty much saying is the main playable characters will be new recruits. So pretty much you have to have new recruits and you can play with them. And then I guess you could play with like other Autobots in the future. Because it says canon characters play a key as, as well uh, in this world as well the legends that are uh, looked up to. So I think that's going to be fine. Um, as long as you can play the uh, iconic characters, then it should be fine. Now here's what this is pretty much talking about. It's talking about like how you have you more popular in the line. Often these are your card changes and you can like pretty much you can have there's features that you can head to like express different characters. Like, I mean, sorry, heads and players are encouraged to express themselves through cosmic features on these new recruit characters, leaving classic characters iconic. That'll be fine. As long as they have good new characters. If they don't have good new characters, it's going to be terrible. And it's just, this will also allow players to adapt to the play, play, play style through customization. Upgrades on weapons, armor, bonus in this treacherous world. I feel like that's going to be fine. If you can upgrade stuff, it's going to be just like Destiny and Warhammer. Great. It says collect. You can, players who will collect new transforms through the gameplay or purchase unique. Each play will Transform has a unique play style and abilities. New characters, each play will transform his head design to fit ability set. Now, I think that this should be, is going to be good. This is going to be good. This should be good. But it might not be. Because when you have a free game and it's saying it's free to play, I just don't think it's, if it's that great. Because look how great this stuff is. Then you have offense, defense, support and control pretty much it's obviously what it means you guys can read it if you would like but it's pretty much self-explanatory offense does offense attacks does really good attacks defense you know blocks does all that heavy lifting support you know like med and stuff and then that um you guys can read that because i don't feel like reading that and it says children so that makes sense for control um overall super sick i think this is going to be the one of the best Transformers games that we've had since Fall of Cybertron and Warstorm Control. Now, you know, a certain thing you could disappoint us, but you know, they probably won't if they've been working on this game for three years. Feel the power, fight hordes of enemies, and quickly dispatch them. Jump around the battle for quick transfer options, uh, technical options, deep combat systems, main weapon, utility weapon, and melee unique abilities. Super sick. I think this will be one, like I said, this might be one of the best. And I just can't wait to see what this certain affinity has to offer. I'm going to be putting like more in-depth videos. Um, it says instant abilities, transfer to execute ability. Now transfer back and the push of a button. Uh, grand aerial beast movement modes create new opportunities. Now, being able to do it by a push of a button is great. And especially because if you go to other Transformers games in the past, they're... Uh, their buttons haven't been the best, you know, like, or you have to hold down two things, like Transformers Devastation, you have to hold down, like, two things, and it was just terrible, so hopefully, that's great how you can have a place, but, and you have Gameplay Hub, interact with key characters, fictional choices, dynamic HQ, and social experience, what more would you want to ask for, that is great news for Transformers fans all around, this, this is great, this, this is, what more would you want? Except that it's a PvE, not a PvP. Collect level and customize. Crafting. New content. New goals. I guess we can read the other stuff. But honestly, I feel like this is going to be awesome. Now, yeah, it's a PvP. I mean, PvE. But, you know, PvE games 
have really are really good. I mean, I know Destiny One and Destiny Two were you know not the best games, but you know they weren't bad games. They weren't terrible games. They were good games. And you have games like Warframe, which is one of the best games right now. The main character in the Transform Unit was run the fight for survival. Mentors in, in HQ fight with you, playable. So, can you unique missions that allow you to play as, as key characters. So, um, like I was saying, Warframe is, is, is still popular. And I think it's been out for like a while. It's been out for years. And it's still one of the most popular games right now, even on Steam. It's just crazy. You know, all this. It's going to be great. And I can't wait to get this game. And I hopefully we can get a trailer at like this one holiday or something event. For like video games so i hope to see you guys next time i'll make a more depth video about all the stuff that i just said in another video and i'll see you guys next time and um sorry for posting this so late i was gonna post it at 3 4 p.m eastern time but then uh some things happened with like the recording it kept messing up so i'm sorry about that and i'm back so let's go